Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This is my preview for Tram Rovers against Forest Green Rovers at Preston Park on Tuesday the 19th of January. 7 o'clock kickoff. Massive game for the Whites. Rovers need to win this game and, and need to get back to winning ways. Well, we got a draw on Saturday which was yesterday. Massive game for Tram on Tuesday against Forest Green Rovers. Who are in are in decent form. So I'm gonna talk a bit about um their team now. Obviously their manager is Mark Cooper. Obviously Tommy fans do not like this guy and I don't but let's hope we can get the three points on Tuesday, Tuesday night. So obviously there's a few ex Tommy players in this squad for Forest Green Rovers, obviously the likes of Kane Wilson who is a tram uh, an ex Tramia defender? Uh, Aaron Collins, who was a Tramia Rovers striker, who was actually okay, and obviously an ex Newport County striker, uh, Jamil Mass, obviously who played against us in the um, playoff final when we beat them one nil, which was an amazing day, obviously for Tramia Rovers to go back up to League One, but now we're in. League 2, which is a shame. So, obviously, um, Forest Green's last game was a 1-1 draw against um, Port Vale. And, obviously, we beat Port Vale for free out of their place. A, a goal from N Nicky Cadden, who is a midfielder for them. And Tramie Rivers got a 0-0 draw against um, Stevenage, which was a boring 0-0. Tramie Rivers... They, they had chances. Manny Montfair had a great chance in the first minute of the game. Obviously didn't do anything with it. Obviously hit it over the bar, which he should have scored. But yeah, Tramie Rovers should have had the penalty in the second half. But they didn't get it because the referees are useless in this little league. So yeah, Tramie Rovers' last game against Boris Green was a 1-1 game. 1-1 one, at their ground. But... When we last played them at home was a 1-0 win for Tramiros with an Oli Banks special. Great goal, obviously, to get us uh, going to Forest Green's ground when we played them. And Tramiros went through to the playoff final and then we won the, that game. And obviously, it was amazing scenes, obviously, to beat Forest Green um, last year, well, two years ago, which was fantastic. But Tramie Rovers need to keep an eye on their team, obviously, because they have got a good team. And they are one of our bogey teams. Tramie Rovers need to get some points starting from Tuesday, obviously, because we've got the likes of Bolton coming up. We've got, and we've got Harrogate. So they are must wins for Tramie Rovers. If we can get them, hopefully we can get near the playoffs this season and go from there. Obviously, this is a massive game for both clubs, obviously. Um, Forest Green are in fourth, Tramie Rovers are in 15th. Tramie Rovers are seven points from playoffs and they're ten points from top of the league. So anything can happen, obviously. Tramie Rovers, it's not likely we're going to win the league, obviously. But we could possibly get playoffs this season, which is a hope. Hope, but we need we need to start from scratch. We need to start scoring goals. We need to start shooting more because Tramie Rovers are not shooting more. Obviously, it just showed you last night we weren't shooting enough, and I thought the team was not the best yesterday. But we need to start scoring goals. But um, obviously Forest Green will will go all against us and not obviously try and win the this game. The last time we played them in the league game, they won one nil, but we beat them in the playoff games. And obviously we got a draw at their place. So I'm gonna um near enough finish. I'm gonna give you my score prediction. And I'm gonna give you my team. What I would play. So I'd start with Scotty Davis. He didn't really do much yesterday, obviously, for a keeper. 
They didn't they, they had like one or two shots, Stevenage. But yeah, I think Scotty Davis will be in goal. I think Khan will be as our right back, obviously because of uh, O'Connor. I think he's got COVID. Um, I think Manny Monte will play. Hopefully he has a better game. Obviously it's against one of his former clubs. With Peter Clark, I think Peter Clark will start. And we need to bring in Kevin Morris as our left back, obviously because McDonald didn't have a great game on Saturday against Stevenage. So I think he will start, hopefully. Um, Liam Feeney obviously came back from uh, COVID. I think he had COVID. So he he's back and hopefully he starts against full screen. I think Banks and Sperling will start. Obviously, I think Banks is a great centre mid. And obviously, I know what he can do. Obviously, he can score screamers and everything. So, yeah, let's hope that happens. So, he'll be with Spearing. Corey Blackett Taylor obviously came off the bench the last 15, last 15, 10, last 15 to 10 minutes came on. Obviously, didn't really do much, obviously, because of the time he had. And uh, Stevenage defence was actually okay. But um, James Vaughan and Morgan Ferrier for my strikers. I think Vaughan will possibly can score in this game. I think he will. And um, Morgan Ferrier will be up top with him. So I'm going to go for a 4 4 2 with Charmy Rovers. And my score prediction for this game is I'm going to say 2 1 Charmier. Hopefully, we can get the win with my goal scorers, um, James Vaughan and Ollie Banks. Hopefully with an Ollie, Ollie Banks special, which we'd like to see, obviously. And I think their goal scorer will be a midfielder. I think Cadden could score again for for the screen. So, yeah, that's my prediction. 2-1 Tremier. And that is my preview for this game. So, hopefully you guys like this video. So, please like and subscribe if you're new. So, for the next time, I'll see you guys on Tuesday night for my reaction video. So, all the boys, come on you boys. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out.